Okay, so continuing, um, I've, I've basically just uh, in between videos and a little bit of sleep, I've um, I've then added something which is going to help us to uh, make it a little bit more understandable um, because at the moment we've we had this long index.html with whole, tons and tons of um, HTML tags and stuff which can be a little bit confusing and I wanted to be able to separate this into small little templates so we can work with it a little bit more understandably um, so whoops close that don't need that if um, we just have a look at this in my app.js I've created this method called load templates and this takes a parameter of parent which is an HTML element and in the in the HTML element well essentially we say window on load load templates passing in the document to it all right so this is then um, synonymous to document we say query selector all and we're getting all elements that have the attribute of templates okay and this will return an array of, of, of elements and then we're going to iterate so we're going to loop through each element and once we have each element we are then going to get the template attribute and the property that's the value of that and then we're going to use the, the JavaScript fetch method to fetch that data and I'm going to show you in a second and once we've then got the response we're going to convert it into text okay because it's going to be HTML and at the moment that's just raw data being sent back and then we're going to set the inner dot the inner HTML property with the content that we've received all right and then once we what we're then going to do is we're going to run this same command on the same item to load any other um, templates that might be on this one in this one template sounds a little bit confusing don't worry about it we're going to go through this and I've haven't done all of them I've just done some of them and I've left a couple to show you um, how we're going to do it but as we go on we're going to use this a lot more so as we can see here navbar has then the um, attribute of templates and the property is modules navbar navbar.html and if we look here we've then got a folder of modules and a subfolder of navbar and then navbar.html and here's the whole content that we did have in the main index.html. So once um, once we so we've then got the items and we're going through all of the items that got the template. And so once we've got this template, this template is synonymous to forward slash modules forward slash navbar forward slash navbar.html. We're then going to fetch this. So we're going to go back to the to the server and collect everything that's with inside of this navbar.html and once we've got that because like I said it's data I'm repeating myself here because it's then binary data we convert that all to text and then we set the HTML the inner HTML property of um, let's go back to here of this one div here okay so what this whole whole thing's doing is it's adding this everything that's in this navbar HTML um, and it's placing whoops places the content here essentially all right programmatically and um, so and then I've done this in um, by using the followers box as well with the same the same idea so follow the pattern models followers box followers box .html. so modules sorry followers box followers dash box dot html and that then loads this once again all right so let's then look at the navbar and practice one of these shall we to see for the future so we've got um navbar home button so we've got column one and then we had line a kind of message button notification button Bell. These are the navbar buttons. So this we could not name this as a, a template here, and this is then what should we what should we call this? So we, where's the there you are. Let's put that to full screen, and we should be able to swipe back and forth. Yes. Okay. So these buttons, 
Uh, we'll call these then the navbar buttons, all right? Because this is then more like the search, it's utility buttons. So let's come back to here and let's create a module and we'll say navbar buttons. And then inside of this, we'll then make a navbar buttons.html and we'll come to here and we'll say template equals modules navbar buttons did I yep, I did actually do that and then navbar buttons dot html that matches good so now we have this all we've got to do is then extract make sure we extract the correct the correct one and it's all of this okay so we extract all of this and then we just pop it in here that's all sounds good and then we then had the CSS that went with it which was not any of these not any of these was right navbar I don't believe so it was then search content user icon and that was then this was inside of the navbar CSS Nav, navbar line linear, navbar line, navbar button line, and navbar button, home button. It's, it's inside of here, so it's a bit difficult at the moment to extract from navbar CSS, but in my opinion, it all kind of sits together. Um, but it's an idea that we could do in the future. So let's um, strip this out, and let's come back here, refresh, and our buttons are still there. So let's remove this template now to see that it is actually working so we break it to see that it's working and now our buttons are gone all right and to double check that we're not getting any errors we're not so we're it's loading perfectly fine 